Hey guys, so I get asked which products I love for contouring and highlighting on my fair skin tone so much on a daily basis that I thought why not do an entire video on how to contour, highlight, and blush a fair or pale skin tone. I'm about as pale as pale can be, I'm as white as paper. So in today's video, I share with you every little secret and tip I've learned along the way. It's been a long process through a lot of trials and errors, but I think so far I finally managed how to contour, warm up, glow, and blush up my face, my pale face, without it going overboard or too much. And of course I love my contouring so sometimes I look like a drag queen, but I love it. So yeah, if you would like to know how I contoured, blushed, bronzed, and glowed up my entire pill face right here, then keep on watching. So before we get to contouring, of course we need a flawless base. So let me go ahead and apply a foundation. And the brush I'll be using for this today is the Tweezerman. Tweezerman, the tweezers for your eyebrows actually came out with brushes. And one of the brushes I've been really liking by them is the contour foundation brush. Now originally, of course, this was created to kind of sculpt your face with a more cream product, but I love this for regular foundation application. So I'm just gonna take my foundation and apply my foundation with the contour foundation brush by Tweezerman. They got brushes now. And before you ask, I already primed. So I'm just gonna start stippling most of the product onto my face with that brush. And then once you got most of it on, you can start buffing and blending it in. And I just noticed that this brush is so capable of getting the maximum coverage out of any foundation. So with this, you only need the tiniest bit of foundation or any product you're using, and it will go such a long way. It does not sort of eat up the foundation that a lot of brushes tend to do. Like literally take the most little portion of foundation and it will go miles. And I'm using a CC cream now and you can see how it's really covering me up. And then to really get a seamless application, you can always go in with a sponge and blend in any traces of too much gunkage of foundation. Now quickly apply some concealer. And for this, I'll be using another Tweezer Man brush, and this is the Poignant Foundation Brush. And of course, again, I break the rules. I don't use it for foundation, I use it for concealer. And again, I'll be buffing this in using a sponge. Then quickly setting it all with powder to prevent it from creasing. So I went ahead and filled in my brows and did my eyes and I made my eyes a little bit more on the dramatic side because right now these eyes are fun and all, but you're like, wait, something needs to be added. If you have pale skin and you want to get into contouring, the first lesson you need to know is to never go too warm. You can contour with powders, creams, gels, you can contour with whatever you like. Just remember to keep it on the ashier, grayer side. If you make your contouring products too warm, it will actually look like a warm stripe of brown on your face, just chilling there, doing nothing for you. And trust me when I say I've made that mistake many a time many a time. Same goes for bronzers. Of course, if we want to, we can of course go for warm, rich, velvety, luxurious, saturated tones, but that will just look crazy on us. In order to warm our complexions up and to give us that bronzy feel, we have to go a couple of shades lighter and cooler. So my two favorite products to contour with are number one, my Bobbi Brown Wheat Eyeshadow. This is so great. I think Bobbi Brown is available throughout the entire planet by now. And I just really love what this does to my face. If I apply this, it naturally enhances any shadows I may have, and it really gives me that structure and sculpture. And another true old favorite is Heroin by Illamasqua, of course. Now, Illamasqua's Heroin is a little bit more on the warmer, um, pinkier side, and Wheat is a little bit more on the grayer, greeny side. Can you see how the Illamasqua one is a little bit more warm and brown and almost pinky and this one almost is even more gray 
and has a greenish tint. So it's totally up to you which one you prefer. I like both, I don't mind both, uh, but today I'm gonna go for Bubby Brown. For bronzing powders, I absolutely love the Park Avenue Princess Palette by Tarte, and this has a bronzy shade right here, and this really warms up the skin without going too far. And another one I really like is by L'Oreal, and this is the Glam Bronze in number one, and this is a tad bit more orange and saturated, but still gorgeous nonetheless. So what I like to do first is warm up my complexion with a bronzing powder. Then once you've done that, you already have a little bit of sculpture going on. And then with the contouring powder, you can really enhance it. So today I'm first going in with my Park Avenue Princess Palette by Tarte and bronzing up my complexion and also sculpting it a little bit. So first I start right here at the frilicky thing of my ear. That's where I place my brush and I start going back and forth right there in that line. Notice how I also kind of place the brush from underneath, pressing up to my cheek, and this will really create that depth. Just keep going back and forth and do some circular motions to blend it out nicely. And then once most of the product is on, I go to the corner of my mouth to get that sculpture. Now if you feel like for any reason it's becoming too warm, just take your powder brush and kind of tone it down a bit and take down the warmth. I also like to warm up my neck area and my jawline. And then also a tiny bit of bronzer right at the hairline, going back and forth and then slowly dragging it down a little bit onto the forehead. So hairline slowly coming down a bit, hairline slowly coming down a bit. Once you're bronzed up, you can already tell where that sculpture is going. You already see that nice sculptured contoured features coming out and you just wanna enhance them a tiny bit with the contouring shade. So I pick up a little bit of my Bobbi Brown Wheat eyeshadow, just a tiny bit, and right at the base of the darkest portion of that cheek, so right here, that line we started with, that is what you wanna enhance. You do not wanna create a line going from ear to mouth because that is drag queens, love drag queens, but we're trying to keep it a little bit more natural today. So really softly start defining that first line you made and blend it out in circular motions. Now again, if you feel like it's too much powder brush, then take it down a little. Now again, I also like to follow through onto my jawline. I'm going to the gym next week. It's happening. See? See how this is really nicely sculptured and this is just like, okay, we're getting there. Now us pale skin beauties, we got it hard enough as it is because if we go too hard on the powder, on the contouring shades, on the bronzers, we look dirty so fast like you don't even wanna know. So if you feel like you went too far and the products are showing too much on your beautiful fair skin tone, then go back to your foundation brush and kind of tap where you feel like it needs to tone down a little and that will take down the extremeness. For highlighters, I feel like everything is exactly the same as bronzers and contour powders because highlighters on us can look dirty because they're too bronzy. We need highlighters that are pretty damn white and reflective and chrome because else you will not even see it on us. My favorite highlighters at the moment are the So Susan Statement Skin in Starlight, the Balm's Merry Luminizer, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, and lastly, NYX's Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk. Today I'm going for the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk because it has a little bit more of a pinky tone and since I have purples on my lower lash line, I feel like it ties in a little bit better. So for highlighting, the main key focus you wanna go for for highlighting is right here at the tops of your cheekbones. I like going up really close to my eye, right here, almost touching my eye, and then blend out over that cheekbone. That will really make you look glistening and glowy. Other parts of the face that are amazing to highlight and give yourself that glowy look with, the tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, and right above the brow. 
As you may have noticed, I apply highlighter before blush because I feel like everything is a little bit more cohesive if you do it in that order. Now for blushes, I feel like with fair skin tones, the best color choice you could go with are light, warm peaches. My favorite blushes for my skin tone and lighter and around my skin tone are Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, Guerlain's Golden High Blush, and Guerlain's Chic Pink. Today I'm going for the Golden High one and I just swirl my brush right in both colors and I focus blush a little bit more between the contour and the highlight so this is where we contoured this is where we highlighted I go right in between with my blush and I kind of melt all three together and because I have a rounder face I don't really go onto the apples of my cheeks for blush anymore because I feel like if I go more towards the side of my face right here it just makes me look a little bit more sculpted I also do like a little dash of blush over my nose and above my lip. And since we did all of this with powders, you wanna take away all the excessive powders with Fix Plus by MAC. This will take away all the gunked up powder and will make it look like real skin again. Just let that dry, do your lips, and you're done. And that, my fair skin beauties, is how I like to contour and highlight my fair skin and what products I think work best for it. So I hope you find this helpful. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my blog, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you end up using my techniques I would love for you to tag me in your Instagram post or tag me on Twitter and let me show your beautiful creations thank you so much for watching I love you and hopefully I will see you guys on Wednesday bye bye hey guys so today I'm doing a tutorial on the look the chola look that Rita Ora was wearing in her new music video featuring Chris Brown body on me 